The effects of erosion are significant. Not only does erosion threaten our environment, but with the advent of the Clean Water Act, failure to minimize and control the effects of erosion can be exceptionally costly to a contractor. The proper installation of a rolled erosion control product is one of the most effective methods of controlling site erosion. The ECTC wants you to have a successful project. Surveys show that the number one reason for failure to control erosion is poor installation. The National Pollutant Discharge Elimination System, Phase 2, mandates that a stormwater permit be issued every time one acre or more of land is disturbed. Failure to comply with this regulation can lead to fines starting at $27,500 per day. With fines like that, a contractor cannot afford to have an installation fail. This video is designed to help demonstrate the proper installation of rolled erosion control products. If you have any additional questions, contact the Erosion Control Technology Council or the product's manufacturer. Rolled Erosion Control Products – An Overview Rolled erosion control products work by holding the soil in place while seed germination and vegetation establishment occurs. The length of time a rolled erosion control product will work depends on product composition, geographic location, and the amount of sunlight, rain, and climactic conditions the product is exposed to. There are four basic types of RECP product. Mulch control netting, open weave textiles, erosion control blankets, and turf reinforcement mats. Each product type serves a specific purpose. Consult the ECTC website to determine which rolled erosion control product is best suited for your project. The installation process is similar for each material type, though turf reinforcement mats vary slightly in their installation method. This will be shown later in each video. Staple options. When assessing your project, it is important to choose the appropriate anchoring method for your site. There are a wide variety of stapling options available. Soil and site conditions, along with the type of product being installed, will determine which anchoring device should be used. An 11 gauge wire staple is often considered the standard anchoring device. However, in sandy soil conditions, longer, wider staples may be necessary. Visit ectc.org or contact the product manufacturer to determine which staple is right for you.